Right, so um, we had a chat with you last year at the festival. Uh, he's old, isn't it? Um, what's it been like since then? What, what have you been up to? How's it going? We've been a very busy band, man. We've been to America, played a few shows in New York, which was cool. Went out for Scotland week. How, how did they, uh, yeah, I was going to say, how did they play with the accent? Very well. Yeah. Apparently Scotland, they love the Scottish accent over there. <laughs> All these black guys going, yeah, I'm one eight Scottish. And you're like, how are you? Um, so that was brilliant. We just finished recording an album, funny enough, in Woking. Um, When's it going to be out? We don't know yet. I think, I assume it'll be out this year. I wouldn't like to put a specific date on it yet because nothing's been confirmed. But I can tell you that it's our best work. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's... Uh, very, very proud of the album, man. Very proud of it. Well, the last time we spoke to you, you'd only really, uh, you'd not really put much out, but you've released a few singles like Under the Storm and yeah, all of that, all that we, stuff. We a I think we we had we were just we just announced we'd put it out. Yeah. So it was like upcoming. So since then we've done that. We've done Under the Storm, done the album, which is fitting for a day like this. Absolutely. Yeah. It's um. <laughs> Bless them. I was. I wanted to watch Jaws, the band, before you, but it was it was trashing it down. So hopefully it'll ease off for your set. Although saying that, it was pissing it down last time you played, and everyone seemed to have a have a right laugh anyway. As soon as we went on, it just went away. So hopefully this year is the same <laughs> same thing happens. Same thing will happen though. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so um, you doing Well, we done Teen the Park just uh, last weekend there, um, which was brilliant. That was like kind of like Teen the Park always feels like a kind of hometown show for us. Been in Scotland and uh, and just the crowd we always seem to pull over there was brilliant. And we've had a few down here as well. And uh, yeah, man, we'll just keep plodding along and see what happens. You know, but it's going well. Everything's good spirits, albeit under terrible weather. <laughs> so um, after the album comes out, what's 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 um, your main plans? Are you going to be well, touring it? I assume. Yeah, yeah, we've got a European tour lined up uh, for three weeks. We're everywhere from Germany to Austria, Switzerland, Paris. Fans. Um, yeah, we're everywhere, man. It's, it's pretty full on. Amsterdam, which will be an event when we go to Amsterdam. <laughs> I'm sure it yeah. will be an event. Highly dangerous. Uh, we've got two or three days there, which is whoever whoever routed that tour did not have us in mind. Uh, so hopefully we'll we'll make the next gig after that. Um, so we've got a European tour. We'll do a UK tour. We've got our biggest headline show in Glasgow coming up as well. And uh, just releasing the album and, and, and see what happens with that man. But it's, everything's pretty positive. Isn't it? Lovely job, eh? Well, in terms of the album, because last time I asked you whether you had any problems clearing copyright for your samples and stuff, and you said you didn't. But if, 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 I'm assuming with the album, did, have you have you still like gone all sample heavy or? No, no. There's, there's one song with a sample in it, which is the, the VV Brown Shark in the Water song. Yeah, yeah. So VV, if you're watching, we need to get clearance for that soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, it'll be fine. And if you want to sue us, there's nothing you can take. There's no money anyway, so we're very, very clear. Look at our Go for our it. Um, exactly. So, I'm not really bothered, man. She can sue on if she wants. <laughs> so with, with with the songs like that, that are based around, well, did you did you write a song and then choose a sample to fit it? Or did you did you write your song around a pre-existing? So that, like? that, that particular sample was, uh, we actually, to do a tour with Vivi Brown and we were asked to kind of remix one of our songs. Okay. So that's where that kind of stems from. Um, sampling stuff, it's just something if, if we kind of find the right song, it's not something we actually actively seek out. We predominantly make 95% of our own music, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and just try and put a wee twist on it. But exactly. sometimes if the right things comes up, you just mess around with it and see what happens. You know? So, um, I don't know, if, I don't think I asked you this last time, but um, who would, who would you say were your main influences, either in terms of how you sound or just, just the idea of going out and being in a band in the first place? We've never, we've never tried to sound like any specific thing. Like yeah, we've just yeah. kind of like got together and like what the band sounds like is just what we think is good. We're, we're five very different people yeah. in terms of what we like and what we're influenced by. And it's just kind of a big melting pot sort of thing, and, and like Darren said, we've never we've never tried There's to. There's never been any like conscious decision to go yeah. like we want to make it sound like this or whatever. We've just like done it without thinking, and then if we all think it sounds good, then that's that's what the songs end up. I think like. we've we've managed to refine over the years as well, and I think the album's a very very good representation of that. Yeah. We've kind of found our lane and where it should be going, and uh, yeah, man, that, that's I'm looking forward to putting that out. Well, in, in, in that case then, are there any other bands out there that you think 
sound like you unintentionally or what what are your favorite current bands at the minute like is there anybody you've discovered recently that have just that's just made you i don't think there's anything that sounds like it no, um, no there's, like, other, there's other bands with rappers but it's yeah, done yeah. in a different way yeah even though the kind of hip hop that we produce is done in a different way yeah a different twist on it it's got the big singing choruses and stuff and it's all predominantly in our own accent um in terms of other bands that we like we're big fans of bands like canterbury um who we've toured with before i actually got a song Canterbury on this album, okay. which was it's like a kind of wee bucket list thing for us. Like I always admired them, as, yeah. especially looking Mike. As, as singers, or I don't think you'll find better vocalists. Certainly in a band in the UK, and I really mean that. They're phenomenal. Um, well, that was going to be one of the other questions. Was um, if if you could like collaborate with anybody, who would it be? And I'm assuming that was that yeah, was one I of them. We've done that, you know. There's, yeah. there's obviously other people, but Canterbury were like a, a big thing for us get a song with them and I think in terms of the song that we managed to create as well it was something very left field for them yeah, to yeah. do and uh, even for us it was it was quite a different route so I'm very very proud of the song that we've managed to, to get um, I think we just we just titled the track last night in the way down as well I think we would call the song King okay. which gives you an idea of how high we're setting our map yeah, with this yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take an entirely different tangent and just say um, it's a question I'm asking all the bands, so don't worry, it's not specifically aimed at you. But if you had to kill and eat one of the members of the band, who would it be? Jamie. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect the answer to be that quick, but I'm glad glad to see it's uniform. Very hard boy to control. Was <laughs> Jamie, and that's that's kind of the gift and the curse for the boy. He's a lovely wee guy, but. Try working with them. <laughs> Is these are these waiting for you to go on or anything? No, like? Okay. Yeah. No, I just didn't want to. It might never go off. Yeah. Where's the weirdest place you've woken up? Do you think? I was quite weird tonight, man. We we had what turned out to be a 15-hour drive from Glasgow to here because of traffic. So, you can imagine a disappointment we're going to play no one right now. <laughs> well, yeah. we'll be out there, we'll be out there, Two people, there you go. Um, every, every person counts. And then we woke up, well, we arrived here at seven this morning. Super, there's yeah. a thunder. <laughs> Good sound effects. And, uh, and we slept for like an hour. So we're a bit tired. Yeah. But I'm sure we're still going to have some fun, regardless of who we play. Well, that's, that's, that's what I was going to say. I think, I think the way, the, why it worked so well with the rain last year is you've got so much enthusiasm on stage anyway that, you know, you can't help but, but, but partake in that as the crowds. We... We... we yeah, yeah. We're going to go, I don't know, it's going to clear up and it'll be brilliant. We enjoy the music that we make and we have fun playing it. Yeah, and I think that yeah. transcends any of the crowd. And uh, hopefully today will be another example of that. So we'll see. <laughs> well, lovely jubbly. I'll wrap that one up there then. But cheers for speaking to us. Thank you, Thank you. No probs. Lovely jubbly. Oh yeah, web website and jazz Facebook. Facebook forward slash the Lafontaines music. Facebook forward slash the Lafontaines music. Twitter the Lafont the Lafontaines UK and just Google it. We're uh, everywhere on the internet. The Lafontaines. We are the masters of our fate. We've got it all under control.